Good morning, Year 10. Typical. I finally get access to A5, and of course it's quiz day, so quiz, it has to happen at home, because otherwise people complain they can't see the questions, which is fair enough, actually. So, hello, welcome to the quiz. It is Wednesday, the um, 3rd of June, and that means it's time to do fun things. So, without further ado, here it is. So, D. Quiz of the 1st of June, because it was actually, yeah. Anyway, so, um, questions. Number one, the United States has the highest number of COVID-19 cases in the world. That is now official. Who has the second highest number of cases after the USA? Is it A, Russia? I should really say the Commonwealth of Independent States, but we know what they mean. Is it Brazil or is it India? Number of cases, not deaths. Number two. Dominic Cummings has been heavily criticised for having a name that makes him sound rude. No, wait, for making a 264-mile car trip during lockdown, during which he also made a 60-mile 60 mile, <coughs> 60 round trip to test his eyesight. He went to Barnard Castle. Should have gone to Specsavers. What role does he have in politics? An insincere spider. Oh, it's not one of the answers. A. He is an advisor to Boris Johnson. Boris isn't his real name. It's actually Alexander de Faffel. Um, I'm not joking. I didn't make that up. That's his real name. B. He is an MP for the Lib Dems. I mean, to be fair, now that you can meet six people outdoors, I guess the Lib Dems um, conference is back on. And C. He is the health secretary, like Tigger. No, wait, that was too much for him. Question three. Which country quit its membership of the World Health Organization last week? I.e. they pulled out at a time of an international pandemic. Was it A, China, wounded by being told that their response to the COVID outbreak was lacking? Was it B, the United States, because let's face it, we're living in a hellscape? Or is it C, Russia or the Commonwealth of Independent States, because essentially they're evil now? Question four. What type of animal is shown in this image from the news? Oh. Is it A, a murder hornet? Is it B, a giant cricket? Or is it C, a periodical cicada. Uh, I'll be honest, I literally don't know, but that, I don't know, it's got the look of murder in its eyes. Question five. Which US city is at the centre of violent protests after a man died while being arrested by police? Well, he wasn't really arrested by police. They, they sort of knelt on his neck for nine minutes. I'm not sure that that's died while being arrested so much as murdered. Um, sorry, I got political there. Is it A, Minneapolis? Is it B, Boston? More than a feeling. Sorry, that, that was an appalling attempt at that song. Or is it C, Seattle? Good coffee. Question six. On what date is Premier League football set to start again? Is it A, 17th of June? B, the 15th of June? Or B, the 8th of June? I think that should be C. We'll call the 8th of June C. If you say it's the 8th of June, it's C. That's not a hint to the answer because I literally don't know. Question seven. Scientists have observed a new planet being formed for the first time using a special telescope called the A Enterprise Telescope. These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. B Galileo Telescope. Galileo, 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 they got all. Um, or C the Very Large Telescope. I have no jokes for this. They're all rude, actually. Question eight. A pair of these shoes were sold at auction for almost one million dollars. Who made them famous? There is a clue. The, the name is actually on there. Um, I have literally no idea. Question nine. Donald Trump has said that the US is spending billions of dollars a year on developing super duper missiles. No, no really, he said that. What are the weapons better known as? Are they A, hyperactive missiles? <laughs> B, Hypersonic missiles. I don't know, that, that's me attempting to go hypersonic. I, th I think it just means less than the speed of sound. I forgot my joke. Or C, hypothermal missiles. I don't know the answer. Question 10. What product has the pharmaceutical company Johnson & Johnson announced it was stopped selling in the United States and Canada due to health concerns? There's a comma after Johnson & Johnson that doesn't need to be there. Is it A, baby oil, not made from real babies? B, talc-based baby powder, not made from real babies? Or C, no more tears, baby shampoo? 
also not made from real babies. It's a bit disappointing, really. Question 11, though probably good for babies. Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling has just published a new story that is free to read online. What is the title of the story? Is it A, the Ichabog, B, the Jabberwocky, or C, the Gruffalo? To be fair, you can probably work this one out by process of elimination, and if you can't, I can't help you. Question 12. Which company teamed up with NASA to launch these men uh, on the screen? I'm pointing you. That, these, these, no, wait, uh, that way. These men, these men over here. These men into space by the potato rocket. Sorry, I've watched way too much uh, Peppa Pig with small children. Is it A, Tesla, B, Rocket Lab, almost like Rocket Man, or C, SpaceX? I, I don't know, they all sound equally ridiculous, though I do recall that I watched it on the weekend with my children. It was very exciting. We also saw the rocket in the sky about 50 minutes later. Kind of cool. Didn't get a picture, though. Question 13. Multinational company Hertz has filed for bankruptcy in the US. Ah, I can't tell my joke. In what industry is Hertz one of the largest operators? Because um, whatever the industry is, uh, it caused some damage. Hertz? No, I'm fine now, but thanks for asking. Um, I, I can't tell you what caused the injury. Is it A, food production? Is it B, hotel chains? I, I think that means hotels, not like chains one puts around a hotel? I, I don't really know. Or C, rental cars. Mm, sounds exciting. I bet Vin Diesel's involved. Question 14. Wait, is Vin Diesel the one with Fast and the Furious or is that somebody else? Honestly, don't know. Question 14. True or false? The International Olympic Committee president has said that the Tokyo Games would have to be scrapped if the event cannot be held next year. The answer, of course, is yes. No, it's not. It's true or false. It's a joke about true or false questions, sorry. Question 15. In a promising step for the future, presumably a right-footed one, the world's largest fully electric plane conducted a successful flight last week. Apart from the pilot, how many passengers can it take? A, zero. B, three. Or C, nine. Electric planes have been around longer than you think. I'll just leave that there. Question 16. Which country has this flag? Hmm. Question 17. Donald Trump has admitted that he takes hydroxychloroquine, or at least he was taking it, the course came to an end, uh, which has not yet gone through proper clinical trials as a COVID-19 preventative, mainly because it's killing people. All the trials have been abandoned because the people die. Um, I, I wish I were joking, but I'm not. It actually makes things more dangerous for people without lupus. It's really good at treating lupus. What has the drug been... Oh, whoops. What has the drug been used for in the past? Ah, not one of the answers. I didn't give the game away. Phew, I really ought to read these things before I start my jokes. A, preventing measles. B, preventing and treating malaria. Or C, treating asthma. Yabu sucks to your asthma. Uh, that's a reference to Lord of the Rings. You probably... Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Flies. Ugh, I'm having real trouble tonight. Question 18. How many people were tested for COVID-19 in Wuhan over 10 days? Was it A? 500,000, that's half a million. B, 1.9 million. Or C, 9 million. The number nine? I, I honestly don't know. I'm not giving hints. I'm just being weird. Uh, question 19. Wait, was that also a question? No, it was question 19. Question 19. What athlete has topped the Forbes, <laughs> Forbes list of top female sports earnings for the past year? Is it A, Maria Sharapova? Uh, sorry, it's... She's, don't worry, it's a joke. B, Naomi Osaka, I, I don't have a joke. Or C, Serena Williams, I, I better not have a joke. I've seen her, she could kill me. She would snap me like a twig. And question 20, sorry, that was a very loud button press. Question 20, who is this celebrity and businesswoman who has been in the news? Um, she's a celebrity like I know. Those are the questions and um, I will be hoping that you will give me the answers so that uh, we can discuss them on Friday. So, um, yeah. Thank you, if you have been, for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I did. Um, and who knows what's coming next? What waits for us on Friday? Uh, and the quiz, of course, next week. There will be an opportunity. We, I can now confirm there is going to be an opportunity that we'll get to meet face to face. I know! 
I'm so excited. I, I am sadly missing you all a lot. Um, I know, I know, it's soppy and weird, but I am. And it'll be great to see you in, in school again. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, in the meantime, I hope these videos are still making sense. And I look forward to your answers. We had, uh, we had an odd number last time. I'm hoping for a record-breaking response. It's just after half term. So I imagine most of you are really bored. So um, please, please do let me know your answers. And uh, I do think we're going to win the chocolates this year. Not least because I'm fairly certain we're the only form doing it. But uh, anyway, have a lovely day. Uh, stay safe look after yourselves, stay healthy, um, take unlimited exercise. Um, well, maybe not unlimited exercise, take just as much as you need. Don't, don't, don't spend too long on it. And this video is now way too long. And so very uncomfortably, we shall end. Now,